MTV Cribs, is that you? <laughs> Welcome to my LA studio apartment tour. So as you guys know, me and Caleb moved to LA around five months ago and over the course of those five months I did a lot of thrifting, going to furniture stores, going on Facebook Marketplace to find all the perfect pieces for our home and make it homey and cozy and a reflection of my personality. I'm lucky that uh, Caleb let me have creative control. It's not perfect, you know, there's some messy bits here and there, but it's just giving Sofia Coppola. It is a studio apartment. It's relatively small, you know, we don't have a full kitchen. Um, we don't have a living room, but it's okay. You know, we opted for that. We wanted a cheaper rent so that we could, you know, be able to travel and actually do things in the city. LA is very expensive, so we just decided to get a smaller, cheaper, easier to keep up with space. Um, yeah, I'm really proud of it and I'm excited to show it to you guys. This is my desk that I got off of Facebook Marketplace. This is where I do all of my work and my writing and everything like that. Um, and underneath it, I have my little rug that I got off of Amazon. I got this forever ago, but I really like it underneath the desk. I feel like it makes it its own cute little corner. It came with this bench, but honestly, I need like a real chair eventually because this bench be killing my back. And then above my desk, I have this art piece that my sister gifted to me. You know, somebody in her side of the family used to be an artist, her mother-in-law's mom, so this goes way back. But yeah, she gifted me one of her pieces because I'm a fan of her art and I've kept it ever since through everywhere I've lived, so I just have it up on the wall here. On my desk, I have all of the mail you guys have sent to me from my subscribers. I have all these letter slots here, but I'm gonna fill them all up eventually. So if you want to write me a letter, I'll leave my P.O. Box info down below. But yeah, I keep everything you guys send me. I have some stationery right here so I can write letters to people back home. I have a lot of little trinkets like a pill case, a little heart carnelian crystal, a Chanel lipstick, and this little candle holder that I thrifted, and I'll light this whenever I'm writing. And then on this side, I have my planner, my journal. I have some little mini journals of my favorite words and to-do lists. And I just have my little cherub here. I have an ashtray and some cigarettes. I don't really smoke these, but I just, I kept them. They, they were my friends, but I just keep them because I like the way it looks. <laughs> this is the one one big window that I have in our apartment. Um, I just got these little lacy curtains off Amazon, honestly. I have some dried chamomile from Trader Joe's. You'll notice around this apartment, I have a lot of hung dried flowers, um, but this is chamomile to draw in happiness along with these dried orange slices that I have above the window to invite the energy of the sun into our apartment and warmth and joy and all that. And then in the corner here, I have my little coat rack that I thrifted. I'm pretty sure it's vintage, um, but I just keep all of our purses and things, some like scrap fabric, just little things I've wanted to keep in our bags or whatever. I keep my cowboy boots <laughs> underneath my coat rack. And then this is my couch living room area. <laughs> I got this couch off of Facebook Marketplace. I really like it. I feel like it ties the whole room together. And then we have Anakin, my kitty, here <laughs> as well. I have a throw blanket here, just a regular blue one that I thrifted. And then above the couch, I have these two art pieces that I thrifted that they came in a pair, but I really like them. I think they're so beautiful and feminine and vintage and just really cool. So I really like those. And then I have this pillow that I really like. I also thrifted this. Um, it has a little poem on it and I just thought it was adorable. So I picked it up, but it says, memories of childhood we share and treasure, a special friendship one cannot measure, a love that is always deep and true. These are my feelings, my sister for you, but I bought it for myself. <laughs> so. I just like the way it looked and I like the way it looks on the couch. So I have 
that there as well. Also, the legs of this couch is like so spooky, giving like Harry Potter. This is my altar area. I know you guys have been dying to see this. This is also my like cat's water station. Um, they have two waters because I have two cats, but they like the running water one too. And this little ducky, this is their ducky. I have these shelves here to keep all of my stuff organized for my altar and my craft. Um, but I have a jar of bay leaves, rosemary and thyme. These are the three herbs that I use quite a bit. So I just have them up here on display and I have some incense here and these little spell bottles that are empty. I've yet to use these, but I do plan on using them eventually. I have this little candle holder that I thrifted as well um, and I just keep that there because it's really cute. Uh, up on the second shelf, my jar of moon water. I'm running low. <laughs> I need to make more. I also have some more of these little spell bottles that I want to use eventually. They're so pretty so I'm like putting off using them for a special day but I'll use them at some point. <laughs> some aquamarine and some mangano calcite and I have a jar of chrysanthemum flowers that I use in spell work as well. Um, and then up on the top shelf, I've got two little travel size tarot decks. I've got this little spell bottle that looks like a seashell. I thrifted this. Um, I think I'm gonna make like a witch oil with it, um, but I'm undecided. I, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet, but I really liked it, so I picked it up. Um, I have a little black tourmaline crystal up here, and I also have this little girly that I got from Little Tokyo. She uh, represents the Hierophant tarot card, which is really cute, so I just keep her up on this shelf as well. And moving over here to more of my altar area, I have this crescent moon shaped little shelf area where I keep some crystals and things, some bundled sage, amethyst, this little seashell that I have. It's one of my favorites. I have this little spell bottle, this little heart-shaped little jar with some pink rose petals in it. I have some green calcite and I have this spell jar that I did on New Year's with some friends with set intentions for 2023. Um, so I have all that up here. I have some of these little decorations hanging up on the wall. I have this dream catcher that I got on Venice Boulevard whenever he came to visit California the first time. I have this little star um, candle holder. You can put a little tea light candle in here and it glows. Um, but it's like a stained glass little star that I got from Psychic Eye in Sherman Oaks. Um, it's a witch shop, highly recommend if you live in the area. Um, but I got this from there, it's like green, blue, red, purple, it's so pretty. And I love it, especially when there's a candle in it. I got this little twine um, pentagram wrapped in amethyst. I got this from the same witch shop um, in Sherman Oaks. So I just have those up on the wall for decoration but drawing in certain energies as well. I have all of these cards here that I got from the last bookstore in downtown LA. There's an artist there of the name Liz Huston and she does tarot card interpretation art which I really like so I picked up a few cards from her and just put them above my altar. And I got this really mini little fold-out table desk. It's vintage and I got it from Pepe's in LA along with this little vintage floral stool that I sit on. Um, but this is where I actually meditate, script, uh, do spell work, connect with my spirit guides, pray, all of that. Um, this is like my actual altar that I sit at. I have my shadow work journal along with my manifestation journal here on top. And I have this little mortal and pestle. I have some things in here right now that I'm working with and this little candle holder that I'm working with right now as well. My altar is always a little bit messy because I'm always doing something here. Um, I have my dragon's blood sage and my little angel offering candle. I have a lot of little herbs in here and I'll light them before I do any spell work and smoke cleanse the space. This is my little altar and yeah, I really like it. I'm going to add to it more over time, but here on this side of my altar, I have my little basket with my extra herbs and my oracle cards and tarot cards. This is just where I store them. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my wardrobe. Everybody always asks me where I get this dress in particular because it's always in the background of my videos. This dress is from Lace Made. Um, and yeah, this is where I keep my collection 
of clothing. I have this dried lavender bushel that I tied up to make it cuter and more girly. Um, all my shoes are up here. This is my makeup bag up here. And then I have all of these little boxes where I organize more clothes. And as you can see, I can't even close them because they're so full of stuff because I just can't stop thrifting. Again, it's a little messy, but it's giving Sofia Coppola sleigh. And I call this area my girl corner. <laughs> I have all of my books underneath my nightstand and I've decorated my nightstand with lots of little things. I have the current books I'm reading. I'm currently rereading Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman, one of my favorite poetry collections. Um, I have this little Tiffany lamp that I also got from Pepe's here in LA. It's vintage, it's gorgeous. I feel like it just ties the whole thing together. <laughs> I have my rosary. I have a letter from past me that I wrote to me. Um, I have my candles burning here, this little cherub candle holder, um, my Virgin Mary prayer candle, I have some crystals and this little glass box, and I have my Jim Morrison coaster on my nightstand as well. I really wanted my nightstand to give Sofia Coppola. I don't know if it's translating, but I tried. I have all these little things up on my wall, on my posters, and little things that I've collected over the years. I have two Lana posters, of course. I have the Interview Magazine 2023 cover, and I have her Tunnel Under Ocean Boulevard poster here. Love these two. Um, I have this little art piece that I got on Etsy forever ago. I have this little um, poem about California that one of those street poets that you like pay a few dollars and they write you a poem on the spot. He wrote this for me about California and I've kept it ever since and have it up on the wall here. I have my little virgin soup poster, some various postcards I've collected, um, some pictures with loved ones, and yeah, that's my girl corner. I also have my record player over here, all of my vinyl, and my little Bluetooth speaker that I've connected to my record player. Um, so I could get really good sound out of it. And then we have the girl corner, and then that corner is the boy corner. That's Caleb's corner. <laughs> that he gets full reign on how it's decorated. And it's all of his stuff. <laughs> boy corner. And of course we have the bed area. I thrifted this throw blanket, this comforter is from Amazon. I thrifted this little pillow that says sweet dreams and this is my childhood teddy bear that I've kept for years and years and she just sits on top here. And this bed frame was originally gray and it's really ugly but I'm way too lazy to take it out. It actually belongs to my landlord. So I just covered it with a sheet and a throw blanket because <laughs> I just wanted it to match everything but you know taking this out of the studio would be a nightmare. So I just improvised and got a little creative with hiding the ugly bed frame. Um, and then above our bed, we have Kurt watching over us while we sleep. And then ladies and gentlemen, we have the bathroom area. It's this beautiful sea foam green color. Um, it came like this. I actually really like the color, um, but I put up these little seashell towel hooks. That was my doing. <laughs> we have our like curved, interesting, shower, a no bathtub, which kills me because I really miss taking spiritual baths. <laughs> I have these shelves over here where I keep various things. I have my Kate Bush magazine, my Marilyn Monroe magazine. I have all my perfumes, various lip glosses, nail polish, various necklaces, mirrors, little vintage hairbrush, lots of little things that I've collected over the years. I have this heart-shaped dish with my heart-shaped sunglasses and all of my little jewelry pieces. I have some bows and we've got like hair tools down here and fresh towels, not that interesting. And then right here, I really like this part of the bathroom. I found this vintage little Marilyn Monroe uh, piece of her in the bathtub. I thought it was cute for the bathroom area. And then I have these little cherubs right here just to tie the whole thing together. And then on this side, we have the toilet, which is also not that interesting, but I have these little crucifixes that I have up. I've had these for years and years and years. I love the seashell one. I feel like it ties in with the towel hooks really well. And I have my little Marilyn Monroe coaster that I put up for display with one of my favorite candles ever, my sweet tobacco candle. Yeah, this is like low-key a Marilyn Monroe themed bathroom, but kind of, kind of by accident. <laughs> 
Beach theme. And Beach. It's like Beach. It's giving Beach. It's giving Maryland. It's giving Slay. But yeah, that's our bathroom. And now we have our kitchenette area. Yeah, we don't have a full kitchen. It's just a mini fridge, a microwave, toaster oven. We do have a hot plate, but it's it's in storage right now because I don't really cook all that much. <laughs> but I put up these little curtains to kind of make it a little more hidden, all of our snacks and I don't know, just make it cuter. So I got these little uh, curtains. I have my little pink single serve Keurig. And once again, I have some of these little blue thistle flowers that I dried and hung up. I have this art piece that reminds me a lot of Andy Warhol's work. Um, I got it from the Silver Lake Flea Market. It's a Diet Coke little cute um, piece. And then I have this piece here. I got this from the Los Feliz Flea Market. It's a vintage um, cigar ad that I thought was really cool and kind of matched this area. So I went ahead and hung that up. And then I have this vintage magazine from the 1920s um, that, I don't know, I just thought it was cute in this area. So I put it up and I collected a lot of really cool dishes as well. These little heart-shaped gingham bow little dishes are so cute. I thrifted these. I have a lot of little floral dishes. This really cool vintage goblet. There's lots of really cool little vintage dishes that I collected over time. And I have the tea area. We've got English breakfast and chamomile. These are my favorites and my tea kettle. And then down here is our mini fridge where I put lots of little pictures of me and friends, me and Caleb, some little California postcard, this little 60s picture that I really like. Yeah, just things I don't mind looking at every morning. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's our little kitchenette, girly kitchenette. And we've got this big giant closet mirror. This is actually Caleb's closet. All his clothes are in here, but it's nice to use this mirror to be able to pick out an outfit every morning. And then up here, I have this little heart-shaped little wall decoration that's uh, ceramic. I thought it was really, really cute, so I put that next to the kitchen area as well. And then over here, I have this vintage little welcome sign with little geese or ducks or something on it. Um, but I thought that was adorable next to our front door. And yeah, guys, that is the entire apartment tour. <laughs> Don't mind him. Um, that is the entirety of our apartment. It's not much, but it is home. And I love what I was able to transform this studio apartment into. But I hope you guys enjoyed my apartment tour. I know you guys waited for it for a really long time. And now you finally have it. Now you know what my apartment looks like and a little bit of my inner world. But I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.